Gold TIG welds are visually appealing, and this golden hue is the result of a controlled oxidation process. However, it is important to note that the gold color represents some level of oxidation, which can reduce corrosion resistance. In some industries, only silver or chrome color welds which indicate minimum oxidation are considered acceptable. Today, we'll explore how to achieve stunning golden welds on stainless steel using TIG welding techniques. Safety is paramount, so always ensure you're wearing the necessary PPE and maintain a safe working environment. In this video, we'll use 5mm thick stainless steel workpieces. Thick stainless steel absorbs and distributes heat better, reducing the risk of warping and distortion during welding. This makes it easier for beginners to handle. Ensure the stainless steel is thoroughly cleaned with a stainless steel brush and acetone to remove any contaminants. Choosing the right tungsten electrode is crucial. For stainless steel welding, we have two popular options, 2% thoriated tungsten and seriated tungsten. Thoriated tungsten is commonly used for its durability and stable arc, but has radioactive safety concerns. On the other hand, seriated tungsten is safer and reliable for most stainless steel projects, particularly suited for DC welding and low current applications. We'll use a 2.4 minute or tungsten electrode and sharpen it to a fine point, approximately a 20 degree angle, to focus the arc and help control the welding process. Match it with a 2.4 meter stainless steel filler rod, then choose a ceramic cup between 5 millimeter and 8 millimeter in diameter, preferably with a mesh filter to ensure broad and consistent gas coverage. A pro tip, reactive metals like stainless steel acquire larger truncated cups for better gas coverage. Before starting the actual welding, use test samples to determine the suitable current, gas flow, and other parameters for the base material. Experiment with slightly different settings on test pieces to understand the impact of various parameters on the weld quality. Set the initial current between 20A to 30A to preheat without prematurely melting the base material. Use about 1 amp for every thousandth of an inch of material thickness. For the 5D meter stainless steel workpiece, they set the welding current to approximately 95A. Properly controlling the amperage helps manage the metal's temperature, aiming for the desired golden hue. For shielding gas, 99.99% pure argon is your best choice. Set the gas flow rate to 15 to 20 cubic feet per hour. Ensure post flow time is set to at least 15 seconds to protect the weld pool from oxidation after the arc is stopped. When striking an arc, hold the torch at a 45 degree angle to the workpiece. Start the arc using a high frequency start to avoid contamination. Establish a small controlled weld pool at the starting point and introduce the filler rod into the leading edge of the weld pool, maintaining a consistent feed rate. Keep the arc length short, about 2 mm, to concentrate the heat input. Maintain a slight push angle of about 10-15 degrees to ensure proper gas coverage and reduce oxidation. Tilt the torch at a 45 degree angle relative to the workpiece to ensure even heat distribution. Move the torch steadily along the joint, keeping the weld pool uniform. Add filler metal consistently to avoid excessive buildup or undercutting. As you're finishing up your weld, reduce your gas flow slightly and slowly increase your arc length to about a quarter inch. Hold it there for a few seconds. This allows the weld to cool slowly under the argon shield, creating that gorgeous gold color. Remember to continuously focus on your weld beads throughout the welding process. Watch for signs of overheating, such as discoloration beyond the desired gold hue, and adjust your settings accordingly. By refining your TIG welding techniques and precisely controlling the welding parameters, you can create beautiful golden weld seams on stainless steel. Have you ever achieved golden TIG welds on stainless steel? What's your secret? Please share your insights and experiences in the comments below.